Hey guys, Jewelfish here. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft OP Prison. Here today on Jewelfish.enchantedmc.net. Minecraft OP Prison here today on the channel. Guys, in today's video, we are going to be going ahead and getting a super high level pickaxe, ranking up and unlocking the best armor on the server. But before we get too far into it, we're once again giving away 1500 credits to one lucky viewer watching today's episode. All you guys have to do to enter is on screen right now. Doing all the things would be greatly appreciated as it does directly support me in the channel. But guys, let's go ahead and get straight into today's video where I've been doing a bit of grinding off camera and a lot of progression to run through in today's video. Let's do it. Okay, so we're out here in my slash mine go. And as you guys can see, we are in a bit of a different world now. My mine is looking a lot bigger compared to episode one. And we are now in a space themed world. If we check slash mines or just slash mine in general we can go into mine worlds and as you can see we've unlocked the space world which also means we've now unlocked the space companion egg now, go ahead and unlock the space world i was going ahead and mining a lot over here and not only my mine but over at the afk block as well overnight i left it running since we last recorded the last video and now we have 140k blocks mined on the pickaxe and we are also now nearly pickaxe level 45. In terms of enchants, I really haven't changed or upgraded that much. The biggest thing has been going ahead and getting this laser pickaxe compared to the earthquake pickaxe in the last video. And later on in today's video, hopefully we get maybe around this range with the electric pickaxe and eclipse pickaxe. Those ones do look pretty cool. And I've been slowly just leveling up my rank, going ahead and selling what's in my backpack, having auto rank up on. Because now we are just went from rank 206 to 210 after only mining just a little, little bit. We have companion storage right here. In last video, we went ahead and unlocked and upgraded a few companions. But with the new zone unlocked, we can spend even more beacons on buying more companions. So honestly, we can open 10 companion eggs of these or three. And honestly, I'm gonna just run it with 10, spend most of our beacons we have right now, and hopefully we pull some really solid companions that we can go ahead and use in, to grind in today's video. And it looks like we got some pretty good ones. I think that orange one in there was solid or the universe one. Let's check our companion storage anyways. Okay, we got one universe companion, which is a pretty high boost, 0.50x, not too freaking bad. And yeah, all the zebra ones are kind of trash in comparison, but it does look like we could actually fuse some of these astronaut guys in here and that will give us a higher level of those fuse that one up and now we should have a higher tier a 0.60x that is actually kind of wild anyways i'm gonna go ahead and equip the best ones we have a few astronaut ones ran up in here and that does look very solid and our money boost is actually going to be way bigger now so i'm happy we spent 25k beacons on that unfortunately we can't see in the mine world but when we're at spawn our companions will fly and float around following us there and as you guys can see our pets are starting to level up a little bit level 37 out of 150 ish which is very solid one thing i wanted to do before i went ahead and did a huge grind session is check out my enchanted pass which will help us with pets and skills there is skills i don't even know if we've unlocked any of these it doesn't quite look like it you just need to play to unlock these but anyways our pass last video we unlocked the premium pass and there's crazy rewards for the free pass up here, like millions of tokens. So we're going to claim up all of those. And yeah, that just gave us a ton of tokens into our balance and probably a ton of crate keys and then hundreds of million tokens for the premium pass. So let's go and claim those as well. Get some boosters. And I think we won some booster boxes as well. 18 booster boxes. Spam those up. Let's see what we get. A lot of crazy good token boosters. And in today's video, some mythical pet boxes, enchanted pet boxes, very solid, a renamed scroll. Drag and drop this scroll onto your pickaxe to rename it. That does sound kind of fun. Two legendary crystal boxes as well. I don't think we are going to get anything too good, at least for right now. A pickaxe booster, which is quite solid as well. And yeah, that's going to help us out a ton. And now I have some crate keys. I need to open 47 enchanted crates. Oh my gosh, a mythical crystal box. That does actually sound good. And we got a 63% token, but it's only 9% to apply that crystal. That does kind of suck. And the nuker, yeah, not too good. None of these guys are too great. I do have some book of experiences, which I'm just going to go ahead and drop on the token pet. And maybe the book of rarity as well. Now it's an epic plus rarity. Can we fuse those? No, we cannot. Honestly, I'm going to save up the rest of the book of rarities for when we get to like a legendary plus. That way I can just add it up and get a crazy high level or quality of pet because that's going to take forever to do. So honestly, I'm going to wait it out. Save these book of rarities for later on in the map. 
because I low-key just wasted one. All right, guys, we are going to run up these drills right now, and I'm going to go ahead and do, should I do 30 minutes of mining or an hour? I'm not sure. I do need to work on episode one and get that out for you guys but I do just want to keep grinding prison right now. Okay, for now, I'm going to do a 30 minute grind session. I have some boosters lined up, so let's go and pop those all open. And now let's use a seven by seven drill. See how that looks. That does look pretty crazy OP. And we should be able to place like another one right there. And that should be making us a lot of beacons. It looks like, yeah, that's actually huge for beacon gain. And we can probably put one right there. And now the mine is absolutely shredded and should be making us a fair share of money. I don't know if that's actually making us money, but it's definitely making us some beacons. I don't really know what drills are good for. So if you could let me know down below in the comments, I would greatly freaking appreciate. And before I just grind for 30 minutes straight, I'm going to go ahead and drop all my tokens on token greed. And now we have token greed, nearly 3k, 40 million gems. I don't think can buy as much other than no, no more levels of enhancer even. Let's do this grind session. All right. So the 30 minute grind session just finished up. We made about a billion coins with the 2x booster. Our pickaxe level is now 50 and 57 million gems with pickaxe level 50 comes the unlock of the combo enchant. So we're going to buy 1k levels of that. And hopefully we start raking in some combo. Whenever token greed procs, you have a chance to receive a multiplier on the amount gain which does actually sound very solid for token gain 141x token multiplier yeah that is very good how often is the activation though 0.2 okay you know what that is okay i haven't upgraded my rank or my pickaxe but if we check the block pack it's gonna be pretty crazy in here 5.5 million dollars let me make sure my auto rank up is not enabled there we go and let's hit the cell right there for five million dollars now we should be able to go ahead and cop the tree pickaxe the sun pickaxe i don't know how high i want to go but we could do best upgrade for 3.75 million and we've made it all the way to the electric pickaxe right here which does look pretty freaking cool let's go ahead and hit a rank up max and we are now rank 250 okay so we got a coal block and lapis lazuli block mine as well this is looking pretty wild and should be making us more money and it does look a bit bigger so i'll be able to watch more uh tv show more effectively while i play here on the server so that is also going to be very good guys if you aren't watching something on your phone or a second monitor while you're playing you're doing it wrong because it makes grinding by so quick one thing i did notice while i was grinding over here is something in my slash quest menu i've been unlocking a lot of quests it looks like we're going to unlock another one for 68,000 blocks mine, but we do have four points and we can buy some stuff in here, but I don't know. There is pickaxe perk rolls. I didn't even know that was the thing. If we right click in here, oh my gosh, we do not even have any perk rolls. Um, we could go ahead and cop some too, but yeah, I don't even know what the best one is. It looks like master because it gives 150. Oh my gosh, we need master five. That looks insane. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and spend 900 creds on this. And now we have 10 perk rolls. We got a beacon perk. No, we want a master perk. What did it just open a money for? That's kind of trash. Beacon five, also trash. Enchanter two. That doesn't sound horrible. Enchant. No, that's for a pass boost. We do not want that. Beacon five again. Gem two. That is trash. Money five. Okay, wait, wait. We might need to stick with that 25% money. Yo, but the master perk is so good. I would kill for like a master one even can we get a master one a gem perk four i'm gonna be so bummed out light three what does the light three perk do no beacon 60 percent, and we got a gem one that we just we just got ripped off ladies and gentlemen guys i just realized i did that whole grind session without my token pet enabled without my gem pet enabled without a whole bunch of stuff enabled um this is kind of pissing me off because i literally just forgot to enable all those and that is very freaking annoying i i literally just sold i'm not gonna lie i can't believe i just did that whole grind with pets disabled because i was going ahead and trying to level those up if you guys remember at the start of the video get that rarity get those levels up yeah i just forgot to put them back on which i am very stupid for doing but anyways let's go ahead and use our quest points because what reminded me of that was actually this pet trait we can get pet stat rolls too so let's go ahead and get a pet stat roll and i don't know if i want to waste money on a single pickaxe pet roll so honestly we're gonna go ahead and do two more special pet stat roll actually i didn't mean to buy the special ones but we are going to go ahead and use a token pet we need to withdraw our pets again let's make sure i remember to re-enable them but if we head in here 
now we should be able to throw in my main token pet there it is the epic plus rarity give it a trait ticket and what is that going to give us level cap two is that even a good one uh with an additional levels to the pet levels cap i don't even know if that's and we're gonna go ahead and do a pet stat roll on the token pet as well basically these are all just special boosters that we can use up so yeah go into here go into there pick our pet and now we can roll a stat dice or roll experience stat. do we not have i thought i just copped some of them okay looks like i have to cop a few for some credits here uh wait did i not just oh my gosh can there we go okay i keep buying the wrong things i am a stupid noob here on the server let's just spam it all up with these guys honestly see what we get and it looks like we got a lot of boost honestly on this um a huge buff an 8.7 percent buff and a huge level buff so honestly i'm gonna go ahead and take that throw that on there and then we are going to do a pet stat for our gem pet right there do a roll a stat dice roll it again they are all horrible and then let's roll a buff and there we go that is also very solid and a huge one for the experience that is a very good and then we had a pickaxe pet on the go let's go ahead and use that one up as well and then one more to go and experience is negative let's go ahead and try and get that a positive and there we are we should have some crazy pet stats now throw those all onto there and actually we could also probably do some pet uh stat rolls or pet traits uh do we have any rolls left yes we do okay so we could do one for the pickaxe pet as well see what we get buff two okay we're gonna take that and we are going to do another pet let's do our gem pet because i think level cap two no let's just re-roll this see what we get and was it just level cap two again oh my gosh i am very unlucky anyways the whole pet lineup is looking very solid now i know that was a very very long clip and i'm just really annoyed because i sold and i could add a huge token boost the whole time i mean even now with compared to what my booster was before with the 2x adding on if you check in the top left i had 4.53x and the whole time i was running that booster i remember it was only 4.1x so i literally could have made probably another billion tokens on top of the billion i grinded out anyways i gotta go edit episode one and get that out for you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and do that but i'm going to do a huge jump cut and bring you guys back with the progression that's done just from the little bit of mining i've already done right freaking now i've already leveled up to rank 284 and with this electric pickaxe it is going insanely quick with the quick with the 1.7x blocks modifier and there we go we already completed another quest let's sell the backpack 200k rank up max and see where we are at now 290 we are almost 300 which is going to give us another mine block change as you can see we got a little bit of copper but anyways i'm going to be upgrading the pickaxe and the mine and my rank and everything else off camera and i'll cut back to you guys when i feel it's ready all right so we are back and it has been a pretty solid jump cut we are now pretty much at 250,000 blocks mine we're at rank 356 and it's been a few hours since the last clip granted not all of it fully grinding but 250k blocks mine is quite freaking solid and rank 357 we've gotten all the way up to the um eclipse pickaxe i don't know if we actually had that in the last clip or not but the important part is that we have it now and most importantly we have 5k shards which is actually huge the reason 5k shards is super important right now is to go ahead and cop the money set which we're gonna buy right now for 5k shards and now we have this green money armor that's going to give a 0.25x boost when we sell our backpack. Now, I don't know if AR is on. We want to disable that and we can sell this $1.7 million. And I do believe that money armor did just help us out a lot. Actually, let's just go ahead and run up the rank up max, see where we are. And we are now ranked 367. We got a solid coal block in the mine, which is also looking very beautiful. We've also went ahead and upgraded our pickaxe a ton. We are now token greed 3,400. And I can buy another 100 million levels or one 100 levels 118 levels for 500 million tokens which is very good it's literally been like three minutes since the last clip and we're already back up to like 287 million tokens granted there's tons of boosters online the server right now but 300 million is not horrible and we are going to go ahead and drop that on something else we don't have an enhancer magnet but we could buy more levels of combo i don't even know if that's good but maybe an gem enchantments chance to give a large amount of blocks in your backpack let's get 600 levels of that why not doesn't look like we can afford second hand and and then this one is part of the cave enchant where we need to grind coal ores it looks like 
honestly that might be something else for the next video but right now the big x is looking very solid or it's starting to look very solid and we are just leveling up our pass a ton in today's video still too a whole bunch of other rewards to claim and it looks like we have another 30 enchanted keys to open and we got some mythical crystal boxes and that's a solid gem booster to be honest but nothing too crazy and some crazy high crystal boxes give us one we can actually use doesn't look like it's one giving us that quite yet but book of experience might be very good for pets and honestly i might just throw these all on the token pet right now oh wait we need to throw that into the inventory first and drop them all onto this guy i think i i just i should have double checked for those of you that can't tell what just happened i just wasted five levels of that on the wrong pet because it literally went into the only other spot that was open and i put it on whatever ladies and gentlemen i just put it in the wrong spot guys i think that's going to be it for today's episode of minecraft op prison if you guys did enjoy make sure to scroll on there smash that big great beautiful like button and turn it blue let's see if we can reach at least 30 likes on today's video but in that um thank you so much for the continued support here on the channel i love you all so much you're all amazing beautiful people and i hope you folks have a great rest of your day and uh check out the server jewelfishshotenchantedmc.net we are going to be doing a ton of mining until the next episode but in that i love you all so much remember to keep on spreading the message peace love and positivity out there into the world and yeah that's it peace out dog i love you guys so freaking much